in my mind for my whole life, I had this idea of, of happiness that we are to chase this experience of no pain, of laughter and peace and fun, that we, that we can get to this place where, where you're happy, right? But if we look at the way humans are, it is our dissatisfaction that creates everything. Everything around you was born of dissatisfaction, trying to fix a problem. And I think modern times have encouraged men to chase this thing that we call happiness. And in my mind, it was something like getting drunk with your mates and spending time with them at the pub or club and getting validated by lots of men and women <clears throat> validating each other and having laughing and running around and doing silly things that was what I thought fun was it was like a it's almost like a selfish ex experience where I put myself in a state that's been validated by everyone around me and I say and do silly things so I can laugh <clears throat> and feel good, right? If you want to do these things, fine. I'm not, I'm not saying they're bad or wrong. I'm just saying that in order to become the true spiritual warriors that we were meant to be as men, we cannot chase this idea of happiness. Instead, instead, let's chase other things. Pride, I think, is one of the best. I guess it can be dangerous at toxic levels when they're not based on anything real. But pride comes into pretty much all of what I'm about to say is, is you will get this sense of being proud of yourself for doing something difficult or for doing the right thing in the face of difficulty. When you find a purpose, when you find something bigger than, than you, such as a family or someone to protect or <clears throat> creating something or like, like me with this YouTube channel, doing these videos, I don't necessarily love doing it. I don't feel that it's fun but I have this sense of purpose from it. And after I've completed them, I feel something. And it's this sense of doing the right thing or having done something on purpose. <coughs> Excuse me. Or doing something difficult, something challenging, something that makes you scared, something you've never done something you're resistant to doing. All these things, chase these. Don't chase happiness. Chase the experience of doing something very difficult for you. Chase the feeling of just smashing yourself at the gym on the day that you didn't want to or doing this continuously for years and months, knowing that it's going to take years before you see proper results going for a run, smashing a bike ride, a mountain bike ride, a big scary hike, climbing a mountain. Chase these things. Chase being on point with your nutrition, knowing that eating these things that don't work for you and these addictive drug-like foods that they give to us may give you temporary pleasure but long-term will take away your life. Celebrate this. Chase this. Chase the feeling of doing what's hard in the moment for long-term success. Fast. <clears throat> Go on a long fast. Be proud of yourself for challenging yourself in this way. It will bring a lot of things up. Chase this feeling. Chase a meditation. If you start meditating and you have a really long session where 
you were present and you were able to identify some emotions. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I got a cough today. <clears throat> some emotions that have been in your way your whole life and you can feel them and, and clear yourself up. Chase the feeling of providing where you have the means to provide for everyone who's closest to you. You're able to provide for them happiness and joyful experiences, dinners and experiences and fun for them. Give everyone else the fun and be the person responsible for it. Chase this feeling. Chase creation, creating art, business, expressing yourself fully and truly, working very hard. <clears throat> Eventually, all men have to go through one of the hardest things of their life, which is their father's death. But chase being the strongest person in the room. Be the person who takes control and makes decisions. Be the person who everyone relies on. Be the person who is most present for everyone there. Give your father the best death possible. Give him what he needs. Be there for him. Bring people and things to him that will give him an awesome experience. Chase this. Chase speaking the truth when you know it's not going to be received well. Chase speaking the truth at all times. When you know that speaking the truth may destroy something that you've been working hard on, but you chose truth instead, that feeling is something else. When you speak your own truth, regardless of consequence. Be humbled if you lose everything. If you make mistakes and you're not on your proper path, the world lets you know by you having to start again. And then you do start again and it's painful, but you get through it and you rebuild something. This is incredible. Chase that. Chase setting boundaries around the wrong people. Don't chase people. Be with people who want to be with you. Have people closest to you that, that you're able to be honest with, that you can figure the world out, that you can work with, that you can say what you need to say, who care about you and you care about them. You can have long conversations that don't get personal, arguments that, that, arguments that actually create something at the end of them rather than destroy. Chase this but don't chase people. <clears throat> Meeting a male role model who is the leader that you want to become, they've generally suffered more than anyone. Being in their presence, being able to ask questions, being able to be guided by these people. Look out for that. That's where we need to be. So these, these were just some ideas that I had um, surrounding this. Chasing challenge and creativity and honesty and um, being the rock for those around you, being a spiritual guide, being strength, being the provider of awesome experiences for those around you because you have the means and the character to do so. Chase this instead of this artificial idea of happiness. Thanks, guys. <clears throat>